This video describes an audio device I developed and hope to license to a company that manufactures electronic musical instrument products. A good kick drum sound is the holy grail of recording and mixing engineers, and for good reason. It's really difficult. Recording engineers spend a huge amount of time and effort on kick sounds, and often use some pretty crazy miking techniques. As with snare drums and guitar tones, there are many types of kick drum sounds. Tight and punchy with slap for disco, high tuned with resonance for jazz, neutral without too much character for country, hard sounding for heavy metal, and more. The ultimate kick is a sophisticated kick drum synthesizer built into a microphone. But this isn't your grandfather's crappy synthesized kick. The ultimate kick is based on state-of-the-art physical modeling purely in the analog domain. So it sounds like a real kick drum and responds naturally to the drummer's dynamics. The Ultimate Kick lets you quickly and easily create a wide variety of clean kicks that sound excellent and satisfying. It works with any kick drum, no matter how lousy or badly tuned. Starting with a clean, solid kick sound lets you avoid the inevitable repair phase and get right to shaping the kick's tonality to match your song. Understand this is not a drum sample and it's much easier than setting up sample replacement. The ultimate kick is modeled after an idealized kick drum. The thump portion is broadband, containing the full range of low frequencies. This unique feature lets you bring out or suppress different frequency ranges with any parametric equalizer. EQ tuning lets you avoid the common problem of dissonance when a kick drum's frequency is close to, but not exactly the same as, notes played by the bass instrument. Likewise for the slap, which is not limited to any specific frequency. You simply use the ultimate kick instead of your usual kick mic and send its output to your mixer or outboard preamp. The ultimate kick avoids dealing with piezo pickups and drum triggers or outboard sample players. There's no messing with noise gates to tighten up a floppy sounding drum head and no searching through sample libraries trying to find the perfect match for your song. If you know how to work a parametric equalizer, you can quickly dial in pretty much any type of kick sound. Audio examples with EQ templates for many different kick types are shown in this video, and more will be available on the product's website. The Ultimate Kick runs on phantom power, so there's no need for batteries or a nearby AC outlet. It's ideal for both studio recording and live sound. This is just the prototype case, but the final product could have a much cooler design, as shown in these artist conceptions. Note that the Ultimate Kick has useful output to below 15 Hz, so it can also be used for action movie sound design. But unless you require those very low frequencies, it's good practice to high pass below 40 to 80 Hz to avoid overloading small loudspeakers. All of the upcoming demos in this video high pass the kick around 80 Hz or lower at 12 dB per octave. But the thump portion extends down to subsonic frequencies if you want it. The audio demos that follow are for a kick drum, so please don't listen on laptop speakers. Fire up your best full range monitors or use a good set of headphones. This first demo combines the ultimate kick with the snare drum sampled from the hit song Automatic by the Pointer Sisters. What you will hear is the ultimate kick with EQ plus a touch of reverb to match the original recording that follows for comparison. This short demo adds the ultimate kick to a multi-track project so you can hear how well it blends with other instruments.
The next demo lets you hear how the ultimate kick responds naturally to loudness, getting brighter at loud levels, just like a real kick drum. The harder the drummer hits the kick pedal, the brighter it gets. This is the raw output with no EQ or other processing. It's easy to vary the thump and slap. Lots of slap, or just a little. Or lots of thump versus just a little thump. You can tune the thump to either augment the bass instrument or to avoid a conflict with bass notes in the key of the music. Of course, you can tune the slap as well. But the ultimate kick can create many other useful styles of kick sounds. Subdue the slap and deep thump to get a more traditional kick sound. Then, just for fun, let's add some live room ambience. Or add a ton of reverb for a big arena sound. Some kick sounds are hard and boxy, and it's easy to tune the mid-range part of the boxiness. How about some 808 action? Hey, who likes the Blue Man Group? Or you can go really crazy using tuned short delays with feedback. And finally, here's a variety of Ultimate Kick EQ settings created by Black Belt mix engineer Peter Hodgson. Thanks for watching.